Hi everybody, I'm just trying something a little bit different today. I've managed to find this board at school and I thought it might help me with my phonics videos. So let's give it a try. It's a bit precarious but we'll see how we get on. So we're going to start off with some high frequency words. So when I show you the word I want you to say what it says. Okay, in a nice big voice this one is my. Well done, my. Of. Nice job. Come, come, come. This one should. That's a tricky one. He, I, we all know that one. I think we might be able to take that one out now. The, I think we all know that one too. So we take that one out, I think, as well. This one could like. Nice work. Ah, uh, me. Remember, it's different to my. This one's me and would. So today we're going to be looking at this oh uh, sound, would. So you should have your piece of paper, okay, with the different ways we spell oh uh, written at the top. So we're going to have oh. Uh, we can also spell or with just a U and a, uh, and then we can also spell oh, like in wood with the o, uh, a, uh, and a o. Uh. Okay, so we can also spell it with that way. Right, so we're going to be digraph detectives now. So I'm going to write a word on my board. Okay, you're going to read it, and then we're going to decide which spelling we can see in this word. So let's start with, ready, what does this one say? So sounding it out, k, being a digraph detective, or k, cook, cook. So which way have we spelt o? Oh? in this word. This way, this way, or this way. Hmm. So with your pencil or your pen, can you write it under the correct spelling? Saying the sounds as you write it. K, or, k, cook. Okay, here's another one. You ready? Ooh, what does this one say? If I sounded it out, b, a, u, bowl. Does that make sense? Mm, no. So, b, u, u, bull. A bull with horns. Bull. So, having a look at your sheet, can you find the right spelling of the u in bull and write it down on your sheet for me? What do we need to do? Say the sounds as we write it. B, o, o, bo. Okay, here's another one. What's this word? Say the sounds, being the digraph detective. F, o, again finding the right spelling on your piece of paper and can you write for me the word foot saying the sounds as we write it or t foot nice work okay here's another one one say. So this makes the o uh sound. So it's sh, o, uh, d. Should, should. So you know the drill. Find the correct spelling and write it on your piece of paper. Sh, o, uh, d. 
should. Okay, let's do two more, I think, and then we're going to write a sentence. So let's try this one. What's this one? So remember, we know this as an ah, uh, but we also know now that it can make a different sound. So if I put upt put, that doesn't make sense. So I know that this can make a different sound, which is the u uh, sound. So I'd write p u uh, t put. Good. Find the spelling on your piece of paper and write it down. Saying the sounds as you write it. P -u -t. One more. What's this one? So looking for that sound that we know. So it's not k o a old called called. <laughs> Gotta be digraph detectives. This makes the uh sound, so it's k, u, uh, d, could. I could write it under the right spelling, and I will. <laughs> k, u, uh, d. Make sure you get all three letters on your could word. Okay. Right, we're going to have a go now at writing a sentence. So we're going to write the sentence. So you can turn your paper over, or if you have some space at the bottom, you can use that as well, that's fine. But you're going to need, you're gonna need space to write across your page, okay? So you can turn it over, and the sentence we're going to write is, I should put my book on the shelf. So let's count the words. I should put my book on the shelf. How many, how many words do we have? I should put my book on the shelf. So there's eight words. Okay, so we're going to work through them just one at a time. We're going to do it quite quickly, but I don't want you to race ahead because I want to make sure we get the spellings right and you make I want to make sure that you get all the words written down. So I should put my book on the shelf. So the first word is I. So write that on your page. I, and then what do we leave in between our words? Finger space. So I, what was the next word? I should put my book on the shelf. I should. So remember how we write should. So it's the sh. Ooh. Sh. Ooh. D. So I should. Check your spelling to make sure you have it spelt correctly on your piece of paper. So I should. Then we need to leave with another finger space. Don't forget those finger spaces. We need to know where one word ends and then the next word begins. So we must have a space. I should put my book on the shelf. I should put. So how do we spell put? Mm, so if I spell it like this, does that look right? I'm looking at that going, mm -mm, that doesn't look right to me. So I'm going to try that again. Put. That's better. That looks right. So I should put my finger space. Whoopsie. My. Remember that I sound at the end of my. I should put my book. I should put my book on the shelf. I should. Let's read it. I should put my book. So how do we spell book? Can you remember? Which oh, spelling do we need? I wonder if you got it right. Book. I should put my book. What do we have to leave? Finger space. On. On. What do we have to leave? 
finger space, the, and then what do I have to leave? Another finger space, so let's read it again, make sure we've got all the words. Point, point to your writing as you're reading it, point to your page. I should put my book on the shelf. So there's lots of sounds in this word. Shh. How do we make the shh? Say the sounds as you write it. Shh. Air shelf. Don't forget that oh in the middle. Shell. Shell. Okay, let's read it again. I should put my book on the shelf. And what do we need at the end of a sentence? Very important punctuation. Full stop. Nice work. That's it for today. Okay, so we're practicing those oh sounds. All right, well done. See you soon.